what's going on guys I pulled a storage bin out of my friend's storage closet because I have like no storage in my apartment this closet behind me is the only closet that I have and it is packed to the brim so I went to my friend's house I saw this and I was like hey I should pull that out and see what's in it and hey why don't I do it for YouTube that might be interesting, right? A little blast from the past, plushies of my childhood slash young adult years, I guess. Because I know there's some things in here from like 2012, 2013, 2014, that era. So I was in my 20s at that point. Um, but I know there's also some things in here from like a long time ago, from when I was a child. I did not keep very many toys from my childhood, but these were the plushies that made it through and made it through all my moves and now I'm in my mid-30s and this is what I still have. So let's take a peek. I'm just going to pull them right from the top here, starting with Baymax. So I used to really, really, really be into Disney dolls. And when this movie came out, I got the dolls that came along with the movie, like the classic Playline dolls. There was the two female characters from the little friend gang. I forget their names at this point, but I had them and he just went perfectly with them. He's the dolls came up to like here and then he was displayed with the dolls and it was adorable. Still has the tag and everything. $19.95. That's the price. $19.95. There's the Disney tag. If I can find a picture, I will insert it so you can see what my dolls and him looked like all displayed together. But yeah, I don't know if I'll keep him. I might just sell him or something. I don't know. What do you think? He is very cute, but I just don't think he really matches the rest of my collection. I don't really collect Disney too much at this point, but he is really cute. He does bring me straight back to my hardcore Disney doll collecting days. Along the same lines of Disney, we have this Disney's Babies. This is authentic Disney Parks merchandise. I got this at Disney World. I want to say, uh, I want to say 2014, but I'm not exactly sure. But I know me and my boyfriend at the time, we went to Disney World and I saw this and I wanted it, but I resisted. And then I just kept thinking about it for like years afterwards. So we went back like hmm, two years later and it was still there and I totally bought it. <laughs> So he's just been sitting in a storage bin. I don't know, this is adorable. This is little baby Pegasus from Hercules, all wrapped in a blanket and he's got the little lightning bolt. I don't know, I want to display him, but at the same time, it's like, where would he fit in with my collection? I don't know, maybe I should just find a place because it's just so adorable. I love baby Pegasus. Okay, now this is definitely something older. I want to say I was like, gosh, maybe 11 or 12 or something when I got this. And I believe I got it when I was on vacation. Just a little touristy like water park town. And so let's see, what's the brand? Oh, it's TY. It's a TY zebra. Oh, he's so cute and soft. He's adorable. He almost looks like a jelly cat to me. He's a little dirty, but he's just been in storage for a really long time. Yeah, here's my zebra. And more savanna animals. Ooh, this can go in my giraffe collection. I've been really into giraffes lately, and I do remember this one well. I definitely got this when I was younger, maybe like nine or ten. And I got this at a place called Fun Set Boulevard. It was like a really cool arcade. And you would, you know, put the tokens in the games and play and win tickets. And 
I saved up my tickets for a long time so I could get this guy. I want to say he was like 800 tickets if I'm like remembering correctly, but oh my gosh, he's so cute. Does it have a brand? Rustberry and Co. Inc. Hmm. Super cute. Oh, I love it so much. And it's even got little bracelets that I made myself. I used to really be into making jewelry and bracelets. So I definitely got to keep those on there. It's, it's a nostalgic relic. A relic of the past. Look at his little tail. So cute. Definitely going in my giraffe collection. Next up we have a bear. And I believe I got this bear for Christmas. Gosh, I was probably seven or eight or somewhere around that age range. And this is a Toys R Us bear. Animal Alley. Toys R Us. Look at that. So nostalgic. I definitely want to add him to my bear collection that I have going on. He needs to be fluffed up a bit. He's been smushed in a bin for way too long, but still really nice condition. Good quality bear. Cute little black bear. Okay, so this is a dolphin and 2003 K&M International Inc. So I remember where I got this. I got this at the Sheds Aquarium in Chicago. I believe it was when my older brother and his wife at the time took me and my little brother on a little trip, like an overnight trip to Chicago. We went to the Sheds Aquarium and I picked this up as a little souvenir and I love dolphins still to this day. So I definitely think I'm gonna keep this one out of this storage box. I'm gonna find a place to display it. And we have a dog. Actually, I'm gonna bring out both these at the same time. Two dogs. Soft, fluffy dogs. What are these? This is Rustberry and Co. So it's the same as the giraffe and Rustberry and Co. Also, their names are on it. This is Ginger and this is Rover. Wow. So I think this is the Russ brand that is now um, no longer in business, but I recently found a bear that I thrifted that I absolutely love. So it's just really like good brand, good quality, but I think they went, uh, I think the company stopped doing business around like 2000 something in the 2000s both of these i believe i got for christmas probably different years is the year on here no i don't see a year on here but gosh i'm i was young when i got these for sure and i can tell like they feel they're definitely not as soft as they once were they feel kind of aged but they're still adorable. <laughs> I remember loving these. And we have another dog. This is this is a TY dog. Oh, how cute. He's kind of dirty. He's kind of dirty. But yeah, I definitely remember having this one too. I probably got it for like a birthday or something. But I've had this one for a long time. All right, now we have two more dogs. These are Beanie Babies. A Collie. Oh, it's, a, it's so cute, it's so fluffy. This is Cassie. Oh, I see a lot of Beanie Babies in the thrift stores, but I have never seen this one in a thrift store. Or this one, actually, this little wiener dog. Let's see what's its name. Frank. His birthday is December 11th, 2008. So that's Frank. Cute. I used to be obsessed with dachshunds. I wanted one so bad. We have three more Beanie Babies and then that's it. And I mean, I'm a 90s kid, so I had like hundreds and hundreds of Beanie Babies. These are just the ones that 
survived and came with me and through the rest of my life. I got rid of all the rest of them, but here's Knuckles the pig. I know why I kept this one. It's because I was obsessed with the movie Babe. I still love the movie Babe to this day, so this reminded me of Babe, and that's why I still have it. <laughs> and then I've always been obsessed with otters. This is Seaweed the Otter. Another T.Y. Beanie Baby. I've definitely seen this one a lot in thrift stores. He is given up for adoption quite a lot, but I still have my original. And lastly, this one's very special because I remember this as being my very first Beanie Baby ever. And of course, it was a fox. Sly the Fox. I remember being at the mall and seeing this new thing called Beanie Babies and I was immediately enamored with them and my aunt was with me so she bought him for me. I believe he was five dollars and yeah, always had to keep my very first Beanie Baby. So I'm gonna find a place to display him as well because he definitely goes with the theme of this room. So. Here he is, he even still has the tag. Look how beat up the tag is though. It's all bent. <laughs> Let's read the little poem. His date of birth is September 12th. Oh, so he just had his birthday, 1996. Sly is a fox and tricky is he. Please don't chase him, let him be. If you want him, just say when. He'll peek out from his den. <laughs> I wonder who was paid to write that. <laughs> so there we have it, folks. What did you see in here that brought back nostalgic memories for you? I would love to hear down in the comments. And is there anything that you th definitely think I should keep or kind of like, eh, pass? I don't know. I think... This one for sure, this one's probably like my most exciting as well as the giraffe that I won with my tickets or I purchased with my tickets. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Bye.